What's up team, welcome to the Buckhouse here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Project 3D Deep Days by Burton. This is a part of their Burton Family Tree Series. This thing is a 154. And let me tell you, this thing rips the powder, which it was designed to do. Whoa! Now the profile of this snowboard is all rocker in the nose, so it's gonna help you float in the pow. And then it's flat in the back. There's a little bit of a rocker here in the tail, but primarily flat right here. And I was like a little nervous. I was like, that's a lot of rocker in this board, but man, it ripped, but still had an incredible amount of pop. Ugh. The flat still gives you a good amount of pop without it being super stiff. This thing is kind of squarely, kind of like. Oh, but when I was ripping steep, gnarly, like pow stuff, it, all the turns are so quick and so responsive that I felt like I could turn this board on a dime, which was insane. I don't know what this really fancy nose and these channels really do. Maybe if we we're in deeper, deeper pals, like this crazy 3D cut that's in this board will do a lot. But I do know if I tried to wax this board, that would be a pain in the butt. But it's fancy and a lot of people stopped me today asking about this board. Like, what is that thing? I was like, it's the deep days, dog. Oh! Woo! Oh! One downside to the board is it did terrible in flat sections. It was very, very slow in the flats. I was constantly having to unstrap and kind of kick, but that happens sometimes with the wider boards. I also don't have any wax on this, so straight out of the factory, just put together this morning and ripped it. But I would say flat sections kicked my butt today, which normally on my normal boards, I can get past them just fine. Now I did take it into the park, even though it's rated a one in the park. Pow board in the park. It's on the softer side of medium. I'd say it's a pretty soft snowboard, but it's like a 10 out of 10 in power. It's really meant to rip powder. So if you're looking for a really fun, really cool looking, and I wouldn't say it's like a hard charging board, but it's like a really playful, fast turning, nimble board. I'm sure in the trees, we didn't get too much tree riding, but if you take this in the trees, you're gonna be able to make incredibly fast turns. So I would uh, definitely recommend the deep days. I would go out more powder days on this board. It was super fun. So this board, any of my gear guys is all linked in the description. If you want to get the board, it's an affiliate link. It supports the dream, but also hooks you guys up with a board. So with that team, guys, thank you so much for shredding with me today and reviewing this board. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this snowboard channel.